Data visualization is all about representing data through visuals like graphs, charts, pictures, tables, and maps. Monitoring and evaluation, on the other hand, is about using data and evidence to guide the design and implementation of projects, programs, or any interventions. So, data visualization can be a great tool to show evidence in visual forms. But we have to understand that the choice of visualization is often dependent on the type of data that we want to visualize. Here I would like to highlight 9 visualizations that can be used to present MNE data in our reports and presentations. Number 1. Bar chart. Bar chart can be used to visualize categorical data and also to illustrate changes over the time. While choosing bar chart, we should know that there can be three different types of bar chart such as the simple bar chart, stacked bar chart or the clustered bar chart. If you want to represent a group of different data together, we can either use stacked bar chart or the clustered bar chart. Number two, histogram. Histogram can be used to illustrate continuous data and its distribution. Since the histogram shows a continuous distribution of a data, there is no gap between the bars. Number three, line chart. Line chart or the line graph are used to track changes over a short or long period of time. In this example, we can see the changes in the population over a period of time from 1960 to 2010. Number four, pie chart. Pie chart can be used to depict nominal or continuous data and also it, it can be used to depict part of a whole or percentages. In this example, we can see that the pie chart is used to show the percentages of different ethnic groups. Number five, scatter plots. As we can see in this example, scatter plots can be used to show relationship between two numeric variables. Here in this example, the graph shows relationship between the income and the health index. Number six, dual axis chart. A dual axis chart combines a column and line charts and compares two variables. Here in this example, we can see that there are two axes. One on the left shows the sales figure and one on the right shows the profit margin. We have the bar chart which shows the sales over the years from 2016 to 2021. And we have another line chart which shows the fall and rise in the profit margin. We can equally use tables to represent our data in the forms of rows and columns as we see in this example. Number 8. Heat maps and bubble maps. For geographical data, we can either use a heat map or a bubble map. In the heat map as shown on the left, we can show the data in terms of different colors. And in terms of the bubble map, as we can see on the right, the intensity of the data or the quantity of data can be shown with the size of the bubble or the color of the bubble. Number 9. Motion charts. We can also show data in terms of moving charts such as the bubble charts, the racing bar chart or other forms of dynamic charts. For example, in this bubble chart, I have tried to show the relationship between the GDP and the life expectancy of different countries. Here the size of the bubble is the population size, x-axis shows level of GDP and the y-axis shows the life expectancy and how it has changed over the years. Another example of a motion chart that we can use is the uh, moving bar chart. In this motion bar chart, we can see how the population of different religion has changed from 1800 to 2020. So these are the nine different types of data visualizations that we can use in our day-to-day -day monitoring activities. Thank you.